Hey everybody, Steve here in the Illinois Recording Studio again. I got a cool set here and a cool story. So there's got to be a little story here before we do any playing. Okay, so uh, there was a fellow by the name of Randy Caputo, a great player and a fellow who was a huge fan of Gene Krupa. Now, uh, a lot of you folks are too young to remember who Gene Krupa was. But for old guys like me, Gene Krupa was the guy who brought the drum set to the forefront of the uh, jazz orchestra, uh, most notably with Benny Goodman, with a tune called Sing, 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 many others. And of course, then Krupa went off and had his own big band for many, many years and was hugely influential to so many people. Uh, if you were, well, you can't go back and ask them because they're gone, but you go back and ask John Bonham and Ginger Baker who some of their influences were. And then one of them they'll tell you was Gene Krupa. And you listen to a lot of that, what Ginger Baker did with Tom Toms through his days with Cream. A lot of that comes from the early days of what he learned from Krupa. Okay, so. I am not a, uh, Krupa was an influence on me, was the first uh, great drummer I ever heard because my parents had the Benny Goodman record. So I'd listen to all that stuff and say, wow, this is really cool. And then I'd get the Krupa albums and the like. So, you know, I personally don't really play like Krupa, but um, what I want to do today is a little bit of a tribute and tell you about this set. And also it's a little bit of a tribute to Randy Caputo because Randy did uh, something called, uh, he had a show called Randy Caputo as Gene Krupa. And he would do basically a tribute to Gene Krupa in the drum set. And he was great. And what he did, this was the set that he used that basically mimics uh, Gene. Now, Gene was a Slingerland endorser for his entire career. And I mean, this is like, God, I think it was 60 years he was a Slingerland endorser. Or 50, 50 some years. He passed when he was, yeah, it's about 50 some years. Doesn't matter. One guy, same, same brand drums for his whole career. That's amazing. Today, you never know. But. So what Gene used to play was uh, 9x13, 16 16, 24-inch bass drum. Now, I usually had a Slingerland wood snare. But this happens to be a, a Slingerland TDR snare, which is a wonderful drum, uh, uh, chrome over brass. But then Gene also had a 20-inch floor tom. And he wanted that big 20-inch floor tom for the tunes like Sing, 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 where it's very big, this floor tom-oriented thing. Uh, so Randy had this kit. And there's an interesting sidebar on this kit. He got the 13, the 16, and the 24. And apparently Randy knew Buddy Rich. And at one time, Randy's talking to Buddy and telling him about this kit he got. And uh, Buddy said, oh, yeah, I played that kit for a little bit, and then I sent it back to Slingerland. Now, I don't know if that's really true or not. And it might have been a kit that Buddy played maybe just for a clinic or something, but whatever. But there's a little bit of a tie there one way or another. So uh, in terms of selling this kit, I happen to have a 24-inch bass drum head with the BR insignia on it, which I figured, yeah, just for fun, I'll throw in here. This particular set that Randy played, of course, has the GK logo on there for Gene Krupa. And the set also has with it the canister throne, which is uh, something that was very popular at the time. And of course, there's a picture of Randy here in his, in his prime that was a promo shot of him. So uh, this kit, uh, Randy passed away a number of years ago. And uh, Someone contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to purchase the kit, to which I said I would, and I'd like to keep it on display in my Illinois Shop Museum, which I did for several years. And now it's, uh, it's time for this to go out into the world and have someone else use it. And it's actually going to go to someone who knew of Randy and really loved uh, Randy's work. So that'll be a very cool thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is give you a little demo of this kit. Again, 9x13, 16 20-inch floor tom that Randy added later, because he got the 13, 16, 22 first and added the 20, because you can't do a Krupa without a 20. And then we got some cymbals here, and of course I've got the TDR snare drum. Great, uh, great drum. I mean, these are just phenomenal sounding drums, and it's got double flange rims, so those rim shots are going to crack and be killer. So I've got, an, uh, this is about the drum set, not about the cymbals, but just in case you're interested, the uh, hi-hats is a 14-inch set of Istanbul Agap hi-hats. There's a beautiful 17-inch Istanbul Agap traditional crash. Over here, same thing, Istanbul Agap traditional 20-inch crash. That's a 17. And this ride is a 22. Yeah, 22. It's very light. And, of course, my personal 8-inch splash cymbal, which is not for sale and never will be. But you got to have that in a little tribute thing like this. So um, we want this to be out there uh, as a tribute on an ongoing basis uh, first and foremost to Randy for having kept the Gene Krupa legacy alive. He did those shows for years and years and years. And at one point at the Hollywood drum show uh, that has uh, not been active for many years now, but he used to do the Gene Krupa to Jimmy Ford's Buddy Rich. So it was kind of a cool little, little mix there. So I'm going to do a demo here. I, again, I am not uh, a Krupa 
player by nature. But this is a Krupa kit, and because there's a little tie of maybe tie to Buddy, I'll do a little mixture of uh, Krupa and a little mixture of Buddy, and there you go, just for posterity. So, okay, so here we go. Uh, 